morning guys so I'm getting ready to hit the gym today is leg day but before I do that I'm uh, gonna cook one of my meals here so this is what I'm working with right now having some uh, some ground bison and I just rinsed it off as you can see this is my eight ounces of bison. I usually eat an hour before I go to the gym. So I'm going to prep this up. I put a little onions in there, slice some onions up. I don't know why I always like the onions. I always talk about that, but I'm, gonna, I'm cooking some rice over there in the rice cooker. And uh, today's one of those days where I was like, man, I have to go to California for a shoot uh, for our Black, Black Friday stuff. And so I got to drive five hours. So I'm like, I got to do some training before because I took yesterday off. It just worked that way. Remember, I told you I was trying to do a little different, not overtrain myself to death. So I've been kind of going at it a little bit differently. Sorry, you guys can't see my face here, but I'm going to turn this on and start cooking this. Yeah, so I want to make sure I got the training in. Especially leg day, because I hate training legs on the road. I'm not going to have train to, time to train tomorrow just because I'm going to be shooting. I'm probably going to come back late tomorrow night. Normally, I would drive, would fly over there instead of driving. Uh, but I want to be able to, uh, I'm actually going to come back. I'm going to drive when it's like super late at night. Just better with traffic and everything else. Anyone that travels, travels the 15 freeway knows that sometimes that two lane can be a little, a little uh, hectic. So eight ounces of bison, cup of rice, and uh, time to get some some leg training in. So I'm gonna vlog this whole video, and actually probably have some other lifestyle stuff I'm gonna add to it. But I'm actually gonna shoot this myself. Now I get different reviews on that because sometimes it's a little harder for for me to shoot, especially in the gym. But I'm going to do it for you guys and uh, kind of give it a little behind the scenes. So this is where we're working right now. Give that little sea salt in now. A little sea salt, a little pepper. You see the onions and everything else. And rice is cooking right now. They're doing paint work at the house right now. So they got everything kind of moved around Daisy. Daisy just got a haircut. Capone, you want to show off your new haircut and your new tie? It's good, so proper with this tie. So the windows are really dirty, but yeah, they're doing, uh, you can see they're wrapping all the TVs, lights, everything out there. So they're going to repaint all the exterior. The home. Getting in the sun, huh? As you can see, if they get the, this is the entry. This is all covered up. You guys see, it's like, it's all blocked. All the windows are blocked. You can't see out the windows. Check out this art piece that my buddy Mike got me for my birthday. He actually did that. Pretty cool. All right, gonna get this uh, get this cooked, and uh, we'll be off to the gym. She's making her super pretty. What about his new tie? Do you like his pink tie? No. That's actually not pink. It's it's red. It's burgundy. They kind of match. They kind of match though a little bit, to be honest. <laughs> Ah, oh, you look so handsome, huh? You're so professional. You're so professional. Here you go. Come on. Come on, Dave. Let's go. What are you taking on? Oh, 
Oh, you're, you're so patient. You know. Sit. He takes his to so it doesn't get. She was in media. I think this is what gave her diarrhea last time, though. Huh? I think I, she got diarrhea from this last time. Look at she's trying to chew it. That's it. That's all we got. No more. <laughs> How are your appointments? I think I'm on. It's um, yeah. Halloween. You are you in the Halloween spirit? Mm -hmm. Your Halloween's kind of trashed out there with all the paint going on. You're my little spooky monster. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think they're doing outside? Have you showed some progress out there? Not yet. It's a mess. Why don't you take it out there and show them? Uh, Is it a messy year? Yeah, you gotta look. Okay. <laughs> we'll check it out when I leave. Still waiting for the rice to finish, guys. We haven't done these windows yet. Yeah, you can see the big difference. I don't know if you can see it on camera though. That's the original color. What's it? No, the originals. That's a different color. This one. Yeah. Yeah. But this was, I don't know if you can see it down here. Oh, that's, this, the, original. that's the original? No, yeah. no, no. This was the original color. This is another color, but this was the original color. No, yeah, that's the first yeah. color. Yeah. Looks good. Had to park the cars way over there, the ones outside. Looks like a house now. What were we just listening to? Run DMC, King of Rock. Why Why did you want to listen to that song though? Because I was making Daisy, Daisy go, and <laughs> you know how they go. So it drives me crazy because you always get her to <laughs> bark. Yeah, and I like, I'm always like, okay, got enough, enough, break. Yeah, you get You know, the funny thing is, is like Angie wants the dogs to be like guard dogs. So like people will be in the backyard, just like oh, who's here? Who's here? And get Capone going. See, look, look, he's already starting. He already heard. Me. Oh, sorry. Uh, and I'm like, who's here? Who's here? Where's Capone actually? He's right there. Oh, oh. And uh, so the dog starts barking, and our dogs never really bark, right? I mean, that's one thing I can say about like our dogs, unless someone really pounds on the door. And, but they don't go frantically crazy. That's what I love about them. You must have trained them good. Yes, I did. You must have lived in a home that you weren't allowed to have dogs. <laughs> That's usually when people train their dogs not to. Make no, noise. Daisy was already two, so she was older. You know, so she he kind of learned from her. Was she a good influence or a yeah. bad influence? He learned how to potty train because of her, mainly because he would see her go outside and in pads. Then how can she piss us on the side of the pad? Because she's just a sometimes. <laughs> she does the edge and Jay gets mad. I do too. She does the edge. We call her edge pisser yeah, right sometimes. Edge pisser. Yeah, we're talking about you. Yeah, we're talking about you. Take you guys through a little bit of a little bit of the workout.
so seated, one leg curl, stiff leg deadlifts. So we're kind of focused on today. I did four sets of each. Okay, I'm focusing more on 10 reps here. I'm not going overboard because I know I'm gonna drive all day today. So I wanna do maybe a little abbreviated workout, but still getting the stimulation. Like I said, still trying to scale back a little bit. Um, I was doing a ton of volume before, but I'm kind of still in a little deload phase because instead of being burnt out, I'm staying with the training, but more importantly, uh, I'm listening to my body and realizing I'm not, I don't need a ton, a ton of sets during this time. So I'm gonna do less volume and focus on more of the contractions. Max weight, five plates. That's the most I'm gonna go. So I'm still focusing, I think I did 12 here. I'll set up and do one more set. Right, so a little bit of quads. So I start with some leg extensions. You saw the leg press. Next exercise is gonna be this bad boy right here. Inverted. Okay, I have the screen backwards right now, but so. All right, now a lot of gyms have this, this leg, inverted leg press. This is really good. It's gonna trigger everything, it's gonna trigger Glutes, hamstrings, calves, of course the quads, that's what we're focused on. Now I could go a lot heavier, like I said, but I'm focusing more on just getting that crazy pump, which I already have. Pretty good since I backed off the volume. The, the pumps have actually been a little bit less. Stop, still, still going, guys. So, I have this actually set on the platform, so it's a little higher, so I don't have to bend so far down. Like you guys haven't seen this before. Uh, great uh, squat option. You know, nowadays it's more than just like, uh, standard squats. 
you should check out the deck. I've always had that weakness with that leg. Football injuries. I think we all suffer from some sort of injury. So this is going to be the last exercise, guys. I'm going to do three sets here, one leg press. I can tell you, 2002, I came to the Arnold Classic after barely missing out on the 2001 Olympia. And... My legs were much improved like four months later. What do I attribute it to? Boom. So if you're trying to build your legs, you sweep a little more. See, that counterbalances the weights, but not crazy weight, but just enough. And uh, I'll talk a little bit once I get in the car to kind of wrap up the training, tell you how I felt, everything like that. Let me just finish these sets. All right, hang tight. All right, guys, so I'm doing something for the first time now. I actually have a tripod in my car sitting on the floor. So sorry about the the, uh, the bumps. So if this thing shifts around, I apologize. But heading back home. So it's 3, 3.20. I need, to, I need to shoot a fans first, give away some fat grips, and then I need to pack up and I need to get on the road. I, my goal was to get on the road by five o'clock. See that the, the tripod almost tipped over. So I'm going to kind of hold this as I talk a little bit. So, you know, a lot of you have seen a video or if you haven't, you know, it's on the YouTube about me uh, changing up my routine, right? So I said, you know, I'm going to cut, cut down and do less days a week. Um, that lasted probably a week. And then I found out that training is a lot more than physically, you know, it was a lot of for my mental state. Like I tried to keep my mind occupied doing other things and that didn't work. As busy as we are, and, you know, obviously you guys know I don't have children. You know, I have my dogs, obviously I travel a ton still for work. And, you know, I'm, I'm in and out of my office, you know, my supplement line. Luckily, I ship all from a from a facility out of Pennsylvania I ship most of my products I do do the memorabilia here so I am not like on a rigid rigid schedule I can kind of make up my own so if I want to break away from some of my work that I'm doing uh, during the day I can do that and I can head to the gym or if I have things that come up right like I said I'm heading to California now so I mean things pop up kind of last minute things but the gym is about within 10 minutes from my house. So it's it's pretty easy to, and I have, honestly, I can train in a million different gyms. I mean, the factory is around the corner. The new Fit Club North is right around the corner. I have EOSs and LVACs, but as you know, I've been training a lot at Kilo Club. And 
the reason I do that is for exactly what I did today. Like I was able to shoot some content. Um, I'm able to do my cameo shout outs. A lot of stuff I do that is business related. It's at the gym and I can do some work. They have like a sitting area. You see, you see the couches and all that. So I like that atmosphere. And honestly, like I go next door and I eat sometimes at Cheesecake Factory. It's literally right next door. You know, I head over to Teriyaki Boy. I might eat there. Uh, but I'm going to head home right now. And uh, before Angie, Angie's actually heading to a movie today. So uh, leg day was good. Leg day was, um, you know, better than expected. I was kind of, you know, thinking about the trip to California, driving five hours. And, you know, when my mind's occupied and I'm thinking, oh, man, you know, how hard can I train legs? I was still able to do it. You know, I started with, you know, obviously the, the seated hamstrings, one leg curls, stiff leg deadlifts. I did throw in a, a couple sets of lunges in there that I don't think I filmed. Uh, in one set of lying leg curls, maybe two sets. I think I filmed, maybe I filmed one, but you know, quads, leg extensions, you know, squat machine, inverted leg press, leg press, one leg press. Um, pretty much, you know, that's pretty standard to what I do. Just cut down definitely on the volume. So what I'm kind of doing is like deload. And I preach this a lot with my Cutler Club and the people that I've trained in the past, which I don't do a lot of training. So I know a lot of you guys reach out and ask me about, hey, you know, will you train me online? I just wish I, I had the effort, um, ability to do that. But right now, you know, I did do a challenge some time ago, which I'm not saying I'm not going to do again, but the online training is very tough. I wish I could establish a team. So if there's people out there that want to be part of my team to work with the diet programs, um, we could definitely do that. You know, that's something that I've wanted to do. I'd love to have like a Cutler certification type thing where you know, people come to Vegas and they kind of train under me and kind of work on the volume training and, you know, more of, uh, you know, the fascia stretching type stuff. And I'm not going to get away from that tissue therapy, guys. It's so important. So I know I have a lot of mid-age people that follow this, a lot of the youngsters too. But remember, we want to be able to train indefinitely, right? We want to be able to train till the end of time. We don't want to be restricted. And unfortunately people's ego takes the place of using common sense and listen it's all about like a stimulation and not feeling pain right I mean I think we say you know we push the sets to the pain yeah the muscle burns a little bit but we never want the joint pain the joint pain can be detrimental um, it can flare up it can you know you don't want to be pounding Advil or you know ibuprofen before you train because you're in so much pain the truth is, is, you know, I feel zero pain. I'm 50 and uh, I'm very thankful for that. And I do put a lot of, uh, I do put a lot of that success and that benefit is from the tissue work that I did, the stretching, the smart training. They're having a PGA tour around here. So there's cars like everywhere right now. Um, but it's just being smart. And I hope many of you can learn from it. I hope people follow the YouTube and they learn one or two things. I mean, I do a ton of different content, but I do throw up the training stuff that before I really didn't dictate and really kind of narrate what I was necessarily doing and why I did it. So now I do tend to do a little more. So if you guys have questions below, please ask the questions. I'll try to get on and answer on this video. If you have questions about range of motion or repetition tempo or you know, whatever it is, you know, I always like to, you know, contract, like hold the, you know, basically, you know, feel the negative and then explode out of the, the bottom. And that's usually how I, how I like to feel a lot of the movements. So I've kind of done that since day one, early on, Chris Aceto taught me that, who trained me early when I was a kid. But I'm going to go home and get a great meal in right now. And it's 3.25, so I'll get home about 3.30, and I'll be able to uh, to pack up and head out. But I don't know if I'll finish this, this vlog here, but if I do, like I said, tune in uh, on the questions. If you guys have any, I'll definitely come on and answer it. And if there's any topics that I might want to cover for another video, that might be kind of cool too, you know? You guys are probably tech checking out the Tesla. My... Uh, Night Rider steering wheel. It's so, so sick. Uh, I actually like driving this car. Number one, it's super fast, but it, uh, it drives itself too. But I'm, 
not a self driver today. And uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I mean, I'm not going to train tomorrow. I'm going to come back super late tomorrow night. I'm going to guys. And uh, I'll be training again on uh, Saturday. So we're going to get some more uh, more content in and stay tuned. Okay, guys? Let's keep crushing it. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. <laughs>